Have you considered that you believe you're Mary Magdalene because of the power of suggestion? Not really. <laughs> it's been suggested to me. <laughs> but I feel very confident that I don't believe I feel very confident that I do, that I am Mary Magdalene, <laughs> but not as a result <laughs> of a suggestion. <laughs> um, there's, a, there's a fair few reasons for that. Um, firstly, as I've mentioned to you, I think, in previous questions we filmed today, when I met AJ, I was, I was very vigilant about this possibility. Yep. Uh, I didn't <clears throat> want to ever have to feel like maybe I, this has all occurred to me through the power of suggestion. So I, I said to him, one of the very first things that I said to him was that, okay, if I'm going to be talking to you and just exploring this thing that I can't ignore anymore, uh, then I don't want you to talk to me about any memory that you have, none whatsoever. I don't want you to talk to me about the kind of person you felt I was in the first century, things that you feel happened to me in the first century, any memory that you have about what happened between us in the first century, any memory of what happened to you in the first century, I don't want to know any of it. Because if I'm going to have an experience, I want it to be, I want to know that it's come from me. And he honoured that request of mine. That's pretty amazing. It is pretty amazing. <laughs> um, I think he understood that for me it was, it was a really important thing yeah. that I was able to have my own experience. And so he honoured that until... Uh, a time some years ago where I said to him, after I'd had enough of my own experience, say, you know, I'm okay with that now. <laughs> you tell me now. Yeah. <laughs> and we've never, ever sat down and had a... We've never sat down and gone, right, so this is the story yeah. of my life, this is the story of your life. It's not... That's not how this happens for us. Um, I've experienced a lot of memories and through that experience I've found... When I've spoken to him about those things, that we have, we've had the same experience. He's experienced these memories before and he knows what's happened and he might have even spoken to other people about it that I don't know. And I've had these experiences and we find that these memories meet, you know, that they... A lot of my memories are from the time before I met him and after he passed. Um, in the first century, but there's also a multitude of memories of when we're together. And so I've found that even though we've never talked about these things, when I've had those experiences and allowed them again, that our, that our experiences match up. But he certainly never suggested anything to me about any of that. <laughs> <laughs> I also mm. think that um, in order for someone to be open to suggestion, they have to actually have an investment in wanting that suggestion to be true, yeah. if that makes sense. Yeah. Like you have to, if, if I was going to suggest something to you that you didn't, that, that held no, um, you had no desire for it to, to be true or it had no, it hadn't actually happened, then you would be able to dismiss it really easily. Totally. Yeah. And for me to <clears throat> accept that I'm Mary Magdalene based purely on suggestion, I would have had to have some feeling that I actually would like to be Mary Magdalene. And that's not really the case. You've confirmed that <laughs> yes. in this interview. Yes. <laughs> I've talked about that before. I, I really didn't have any feeling that I wanted to... I felt that accepting who I am and accepting who AJ is and living out our lives based on who we really are, not who the world would like us to believe, would mean ostracism, ridicule, rejection, possibly even violence, you know. And so I didn't, I wasn't invested in this suggestion at all. And nobody, the only people who really probably suggested it to me, if you could even say that, and they'd be mortified that I said this, but <laughs> would be my parents in that they just said, oh, AJ Miller believes that you're soulmates. <laughs> <laughs> Unwittingly. Unwittingly, <laughs> yeah. Um, they certainly didn't. Oh, I don't know if they believe it or not, but... Yeah. Um, but, yeah, there was no, there's no suggestion. And even if that was a suggestion, I didn't really have any um, desire for it to be true. Yeah. It completely freaked me out, as I said. And even though I had this strong sense that I could, that it was true, I really didn't want it to be. And so, um, yeah, I don't feel that anything's been suggested to me. 
Um, probably the other thing to say about suggestion is also that there's, while AJ didn't suggest anything to me about my memories, there's also no other suggestion, if you like, of what I experience or of the life that I have a memory of anywhere else on the planet at the moment. There's no account of Mary Magdalene's life that marries with what I mm. know was, is, was my life. So th there's no way that I read a book and it suggested to me what I'm experiencing. You know, some interviewers say to us, oh, so the Da Vinci Code got it right. <laughs> just because, <laughs> just because um, we're saying we're Jesus and Mary Magdalene and we were married in the first century, you know. And I sort of think, uh, well, on that one point, you know, <laughs> but there's a, there's a lot of life yeah. that we lived on earth and in the spirit world. And, I, and that's not recorded anywhere on the planet at this point. There's elements of some details, some minor details that are recorded in the Bible and in, especially regarding my life, it's a little bit different for Jesus's life. But for me, there's some elements of truth in some things that are written and that I had never read and mm. I still haven't read most of them. But none of those things are an accurate depiction or an accurate account of my memories. So it's impossible that I've read something or been exposed to something which has suggested to me these memories or this experience that, or who I am, if you like. Yeah. yeah.